Hi everybody, my name is Carl DePrado and today is day five of the 48 day journey. Basically this is a um, video journal of me chronicling my last um, 48 days on the weight loss side of the Take Shape for Life program. About um, four years ago I weighed 350 pounds, I lost 150 pounds on the program, um, but I never finished up, I never lost the last 20 pounds. About four weeks ago I made a decision to do that. Um, it took me a couple weeks to get myself back on the program, but since then I have. And so now, um, what do I have to do? So real simply, um, it's a five-in-one program. What does that mean? I eat every three hours, and I only have two different choices. One is I can have a lean and green meal. I get one of those a day, which is a piece of chicken, fish, or beef, a cup and a half to three cups of vegetables. Um, the other five meals that I have throughout the day um, every at a three-hour interval is a Metafast meal, which is either pudding, oatmeal, um, shakes, bars, um, pancakes. There's a wide variety. If you want to find more about what types of foods there are, feel free to go to my website, which is www.berealhealthy.com. On top of that, I drink about half of my body weight in ounces, so that, that's about 105 ounces of water per day. Um, I work out about 40 minutes a day, and uh, I check in with my coach pretty regularly, and um, I keep in mind what it is I'm trying to accomplish and why it is I'm trying to accomplish. And so for me, it's not just losing the additional 20 pounds. It's really teaching my daughter you know, to finish whatever you say you're going to and by demonstrating that to her um, because I want to provide for my family. I know that following through is one of the biggest things anybody can ever do. On so what do I want to talk about today? I want to talk about becoming aware. And um, why is that so important? Well, here I am. It's day five of this. And let's take this as a new client. You know, you just started a new habit, and you're going strong for the first few days. And you're like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And, you know, and you're sort of going in every day. And by day five, temptations come up all the time. I mean, today is Monday. So the last two days have been weekend days for me. So what happens on the weekends? You get treats thrown, you know, you go to a party and, or a social gathering, you meet with your friends or something, and when you meet, the first thing you, you put in front of you is food and treats and all the no-no foods or all the foods that you, when you're trying to lose weight, you really can't have, like chips. I went to a birthday party from, you know, for a two-year-old, and what do you have? You got chips, you got um, junky food, um, which is, you know, it's fine for, you know, a once-in-a-while thing, but when you're trying to reach a goal, um, for 48 days, I can't have that food. So what do I do instead? What are the strategies that I'll do to make sure that I'm, I'm not going off? Well, one of the things was to make sure that I had a meal before I went to the party, make sure I drank plenty of water so I wasn't going to be thirsty. And the other thing was um, to really focus on engaging with people. Sometimes you go to a party and you don't know anybody, and so the first thing you do to make myself feel comfortable is I grab a plate full of food just so I had something around me and I felt like maybe somebody would ask me about what's on my plate or something. It was kind of crazy, but that was my thinking. Um, now what it does is it makes me more intentional to get into a conversation and talk to some people and make some new friends um, and not really focus on the, on the food. So because honestly, today I don't miss not having any of the food that was served yesterday. And if I had the food that was served yesterday, it wouldn't have changed my life today as far as my enjoyment level. But the only reason, but it would have made me feel bad because I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. So um, those were two quick um, focusings, focus um, strategies that I use. And they really come about because I've become aware and also because I've talked to my health coach about these type of situations in the past. Um, so putting together the tools that once you've defined your why is a surefire strategy to make sure that you are successful. So this is Carl the Prado reminding you to finish up.